Okay, this is just an update on my uh, non-stop running devices after three years. <clears throat> and I've tried to give an update every six months to uh, let people know what I found out worked and what doesn't, didn't work on a device that you set up and let run around the clock 24 hours a day. And so most of them are battery powered, so this is not perpetual motion. This is just in a battery powered electric motor. But some of them are running on supercapacitors, and that's... Um, rather interesting and they're devices that run around the clock 24-7 um, um, some of them gain energy using a solar panel and some are strictly battery powered but I wanted to give an update on what worked and what didn't work and um, let people know um, maybe to save you the time of doing a long-term experiment like what I've done uh, some of the devices were light devices here again, gaining energy from a solar panel using some kind of a storage device. This is the homemade battery that the plastic broke down on the battery and the plastic broke down on the the uh, penny oscillator, what I call penny oscillator. So these are two things that I found out over the course of time where a problem was the plastic breaking down. That's some of the crystals from the uh, um, Epsom salt and water and stainless steel um, crystals that come on out and form on the outside, but that was successful. It's just the container came apart. This was highly successful. It's just a solar you know, wobbler with an alkaline battery with a 740 ohm resistor, dropping it down, going right into the solar panel on the solar wobbler no diode there's enough resistance in the panel that you don't drain the battery down and that was very successful um, this was something that uh, happened in the last six months I would say six months to a year that I found successful a 2.7 volt supercapacitor with a solar garden light panel will keep one of these low ohm um, devices running around the clock and where I live in uh, Southern California, uh, we get enough sunlight here at 34 degrees north latitude to, to get this to happen. And this is just in a window that gets about an hour of sunlight every day. Whether it's uh, cloudy or sunny, enough energy comes into that to keep this running around the clock. Um, this one here worked. It's just not very bright. And it was uh, what I call the forever light that I started in uh, 2013. And it, it, um, it's just a blinker, and it uses a couple of these polycene uh, capacitor batteries um, in series. That worked. I haven't had it apart in all these years, and that just keeps going around the clock. Um, the um, story over here was kind of interesting. Bearing problems and also storage device problems. Um, I finally ended up with two double A's in series to up the voltage on the thing so it wouldn't stop running. And that's the circuit for it right there. It's one of these complementary transistor circuits that uh, Dad had was the first one that uh, came up with the motor driver version of that complementary um, transistor circuit. And you can vary the um, resistance here and vary the voltage and of course vary the ohms on the on the coil but that's what uh, I have here on the laser sabers easy spin that uh, has never stopped in three years it's just kept going um, I did stop it once to change these to a two in series rather than one these are super capacitors and that's a four volt solar panel out of a solar garden light and this one is uh, another one that's strictly battery powered that uh, I went on up to three volts from a volt and a half to keep it from stopping. If it gets below 1.2 on that circuit, the circuit won't trigger with these kinds of rotors that I've got. Um, the other one that uh, I wanted to show here was the um, Yearling motor. That was one of the biggest disappointments of my experiments was this right here. And this was supposed to run a year on a AAA battery. There's the AAA battery. And it didn't. And I'm still trying to scratch my head as to why. It'll run for weeks or months and they'll stop. 
and various problems, bearing problems, and then when the voltage got down to 1.2 on that battery, for whatever reason, stopped running. So the solution, um, it was having a problem with the coil moving around, so I put a rubber band on it, so that needs to be more fixed. The bearing isn't fixed with that toothpick there, that needs to be more secure. And then the battery, you need to go to a 3 volt and then change the resistance on this to adjust it to the speed you want to keep it running. So here again, that, that was a failure in a way, but it was a good learning experience. Anyway, that's the latest with my non-stop running devices. Thanks for watching.